Foods! Welcome to another episode of Hey Foods, where we try out interesting stuff and tell you whether it tastes good or tastes like ass. I'm Dad. That's Nathan. Hey. And I promised you a special surprise on Hey Foods. Next time I think we have a big surprise, but I won't I won't tip my hand oh. yet. Um hopefully we we'll, we'll get our surprise and and we can do another Hey Food soon. Well, I'm going to deliver. One of our loyal viewers from over the years, Death to the Pilgrims, has sent us a box full of Japanese stuff to try out. Of course, we can't read the labels because they're all in Japanese, but she was nice enough to put post-it notes on everything telling us what they are. Um, this first one probably means nothing because it's in Japanese, but actually there's some English on the back, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit of English. Are called uh, sen Senbei? 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 Um, they are rice crackers, which actually sound damn good to me. I will open the package. Ooh, look at these. Ooh, they're, they're kind of, oh, this is cute. Here's a package for you and a package for me. And they come in these little packages and you open them. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, a little strong soy sauce. Which one? Oh, this one's got seaweed on it. These are good. These are very good. Strong. They have a soy sauce, um, almost a garlic flavor. That one had seaweed on it, which is a little alarming, but they're just little, they're kind of like um, Japanese goldfish crackers. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I need a drink after that. He's thrilled to death. Ah, okay. Get that taste out of my mouth. Next we have... Ume... Oh wait, yeah, Ume candy. This is candy. And apparently they call it Ume. Um, it's 50% something. <laughs> I like this. Blah, 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 50%. Whatever. So maybe this will get the taste of seaweed out of our mouth. Here. Here's a piece of candy for you. Oh, candy. I like candy. We like candy. They're little, um, like little melon balls or something. It's this Ume. Fruity. They're like Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, they're kind of like Japanese Jolly Ranchers. Hmm. They're not bad. Yeah. I'll save that one for later, though. I have to eat the whole thing now. Yeah. Just put it back. They're kind of melony. Um. Not melony, like the chick. Yeah, but. but they have kind of a melon flavor to them. But, um, next we have, oh, this is more candy. This is, oh, you got to be kidding me with this one. Uh, it's bamboo shoot in English. In Japanese, it's Takano Kono Sato. Say that three times real fast. Comes in a box. It's bamboo shoes with looks like chocolate on them. Wow. Let me see what the ingredient says. Flour. Yeah, it's cocoa. So it's chocolate. So we shall open this. And there's a package inside. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Those Japanese, I tell you. The hell with 
environmental protection. Fuck anime, they got candy. Here we go. Here's some candy for you. They're like little. They think I little turds. I think it says I got something I found in the litter box. Okay. Ooh, these are good. They actually are. They are. The chocolate's really good. I can't say I've ever had Japanese chocolate before. That I'm aware of. And this tastes like Twix without the caramel. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of like a cookie. The bamboo shoot's kind of like a cookie. Wait, that's bamboo? I don't know what bamboo tastes like. Apparently that's what it says. Bamboo shoots. And Panda's got some nice fucking taste. They're bamboo shoot shaped chocolate covered cookie snacks. Where the fuck did they go? I want more. Finally, something I like. Yeah, those are good. Those are damn good. Um. Nope. This one we're on the fence about. Um. I'm not. This one you can even read because it's in English. Prepared shredded squid. Yeah, I don't think the, the picture of the squid fucking... Nope. It's supposed to be spicy. Not for me. Um, I'm going to stick to my bamboo chocolate. If I can get it open. Nathan swears he's not going to try it. Which proves what a pussy he is. I don't know about this, kids. I can't get the package open. I don't like seafood in general. No, I don't either. Oof. Oof. <laughs> get a whiff of that. No. Um. Okay, we'll pretend like we ate them. <laughs> and, uh, um. I'm sure the cats will love it. Yes, the cats will enjoy this one immensely, I think. Um, it smells like, um, well, I don't want to say. Ow. Very fishy. It's, it reminds me of something from high Okay, never mind. Um, last but not least, we have, what's, what's, this is temp, temporary curry. Tapari curry. This is golden curry, as the box says. And you have to cook it, and it comes. She was nice enough to include some Japanese rice. If I like, if microwave I microwave like rice. If I like this rice, I want more. So we need to take a quick break and go and cook this stuff. And we'll be right back. Hey, hey dude. dude, don't go away. Hold on. Hold on. Hold I need on. to figure out how the fuck to do this. Okay. We've got to find the button. We'll be right back after these messages. Yes. And now back to Hey Foods. Hola. E. We're back. Yeah. Okay, and this is the result of Japanese curry. Oh, I'm turning it around so you can see the curry. Instead of the rice and and rice, there it is. I know it looks a lot like baby shit, but it smells really good. It's got a really good curry <laughs> with extra ramen in there now too, because somebody had yeah, to use somebody had ramen noodles earlier. The rice is really good. Yes, I will try. What is that? What I think is a potato. Do they have potatoes in Japan? I don't know. At McDonald's. Oh my god, this is really good. Is that a potato? Yes. I want a potato. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, you're right. It is kind of like a beef stew. Hmm. But a curry flavored beef stew. This is really good stuff. Holy shit. Mmm. And the rice is really good. I guess there's no meat in it according to the package. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. But yeah. There's, there's a potato. Yeah. Damn, that's pretty good. No, you want to eat some? Yes. I need a drink. Don't. It's hot. Not spicy hot, but temperature hot. Well, there's your treat, guys. Um, 
the Kanichiwa edition of Hey Foods. Kanichiwa. We uh, got to give a shout out to Death of the Pilgrims who went to all the trouble to send us this stuff. Um, we really appreciate it. And Nathan really likes the what were they? The bamboo. The, the chocolate covered bamboo shoots. We may have to find out a source to get some more of those. Those are really good. I have to find an Asian food market here in town. I think we have one, don't we? But we wouldn't know what to look for. We have to take the box with us, I guess. Go but, to uh, one of the Japanese people at Kotobuki and be like, Can you tell me where to find this? Yeah. That would be, that's racially insensitive. That's but. Right. So, anyways. The old lady would be helpful. Yes, yeah, she would. Yeah. Our, Jap our favorite Japanese restaurant. Maybe they can help guide us towards Japanese cuisine. This is good, but. It'd be nice if it was really spicy. I, I prefer I prefer the Indian curry from like our, yeah. our our Indian place that we have. Oh my god! Of course, the Indian curry we get is is really spicy. I mean, especially the stuff I get. I get it. I get, tell them to make it hot as hell. You get it, destroy your asshole. Yeah, I regret it the next day, but. Uh, oh yeah, I caught it. Good move. No, just put it down. Well, the boo boo, boo boo's gonna make an appearance. No, nope, I guess not. not. Boo boo the kitty is like, I smell curry. Happy, happy National Love Your Pets Day. Yes, love your pets, and thanks for tuning in on this episode of Hey Foods. Hey, food. I forgot to do it. Oh well. oh well. Until next time. Oh, I guess we're ending. All right, bye everybody. Arigato.